Hi my wig lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I am bringing you a two part wig review. I'm actually going to split this into two separate videos for your viewing pleasure. Um, the first part is going to be a traditional review of Sky by Aesthetica in the color R30 slash 28 slash 26. Um, which I currently am wearing. And then the second video is going to be um, the reason why I chose this color even though Taz already reviewed this wig in this color for our channel. I'm gonna address that in the second video for this that I'll drop the same day, don't worry. So that way you can immediately watch the second part. And this video is going to be about Sky and what I think of it. Sky by Aesthetica is very comfortable on me. I think it, you know, because it's got that stretchy cap, I feel like it fits a little bit above average on me. Um, so this is a great cap construction for anybody who is in the big headed tribe like me. I have a 23 and a half inch cap circumference, so I think this fits really nicely and it's very secure on my head. Now, if you have a slightly more petite frame or you're on the edge of average petite, this may have to be brought in all the way in the back to fit you appropriately. The bang is six inches, so it hits right here around my nose. It hits Taz a little bit differently, and again, I'll mention that in the second part of the video a little bit more detail. The sides are 9.25 inches, but take that with a grain of salt. You can see some of these are also about six inches up here on the top, and that's because she's heavily layered, like a sort of like shag bob hybrid. It's definitely more of an angled bob, but she's got these sort of shaggy side layers. The nape is 4.25 inches. So let me go ahead and turn around so you can see what Sky by Aseka looks like on all sides. weighs 3.77 ounces so she's really nice and comfortable on and by the way sky is almost the exact same cut as the autumn wig that they recently revealed she's just got a really big open deconstructed curl all over so because of that it gives autumn a lot of body you could buy one of sky one of autumn in the same color and switch them out you know make one your day work casual wig and make one your evening going out on the town fancy do i mean it's up to you and uh, that way you can have a little bit more styling versatility and stay within traditional synthetics. I know a lot of people don't like heat friendly synthetics because they tangle and they're a little harder to take care of. This and the Autumn are both traditional synthetics that makes them a little bit more durable and they are both really short here at the nape. The nape is only 4.25 inches. It's a great length if you want to avoid getting your hair caught uh, underneath your bra strap or in your seat belt or you know just rubbing up against the seat of your car because most people don't sit driving with their heads completely flush up against the back seat. You're gonna be in great shape with a wig this length or the autumn. So I definitely think that that's a great strategy if you want a little bit of versatility, especially if you can get them on sale. It's a great idea. And I also just really love Sky on its own merits. I love the layering on this wig. I love the lace front. And Autumn has a similarly nice lace front. This is a nice light color. So those knots just kind of blend right into my forehead. And then there's that monofilm side part. I mean, I just find this to be a very flattering cut because of all of that layering. I just think that that's going to hit a lot of people really nicely, no matter what kind of face shape you have and no matter how long your face really is. Just know that because of all this layering, it's going to hit a little bit differently depending on the shape and length of your face. But this is an intelligently cut wig and I love on me how it hits right below my cheekbones and then it just continues to frame it out down here by my jaw because I still have kind of a squishy soft jaw you know I've got some auxiliary chin action going on down here so um, it's nice to give it a nice sleek angled frame I'm gonna go ahead and take Sky off now so I can show you the cat construction Sky by Aesthetica has a contoured transparent lace front 
also has a monofilament side part that will show up on the left side when you wear the wig. It's also got a little bit of permatease here on the opposite side of the cap from the monofilament. Don't worry though, it's a very light amount of permatease and it will settle even more as you wear and wash the hair. Then we've got open wafts on the side and the back. We've also got an extended open nape and a hook enclosure. This is a really stretchy, stretchy wig. And so is Autumn, and so is Jameson, and so are a whole bunch of the mono side part wigs from the Aesthetica line. She's also got closed fabric ear tabs. So a lot of people ask me what the difference between Sky and Jameson is. But I think the differences between the two of these shows up really easily when I put Jameson on. And I'll splice in an image of Sky. So. So this one isn't as angled. With Sky, it's much more dramatically angled. You can tell right away, this is a little longer it's a little bit more thinned out. So, I mean, if you think that uh, Sky is voluminous, Jameson's gonna have even more because she, she isn't as thinned out on the sides. And then all of this additional layering, the layering goes all the way to the back. And especially if I fluff her up, you can really see it. So Jameson, you know, looks like a more traditional open rounded bob you know with just like razor cut ends whereas this one is much longer in the front compared to the back it's a much more dramatic shape she's longer on the front than Jameson thinned out more on the sides and has a lot of layering so if you're wondering what the difference between the two was or you're torn between the two there you go I love all this layering I also think that by making it that layered, especially if you don't put any styling product in it, as the wig settles, it's going to take on a very natural and sleek appearance. So this has been my review of the Sky by Aesthetica in the color R30 slash 2826. And make sure you check out the second video that I'm about to whip up. So that way you know why I chose to review this wig in the exact same color that Taz reviewed it in. All right, well, until next time, have a great afternoon and I look forward to making more reviews for you. Bye-bye.